after it. I'm about to make a video. Hey, sexy babes, what's up? I'm going to be making another batch of like lip balm stuff. The main ingredient is Vaseline, petroleum jelly. So, um, yeah. And then I'm going to take some, a little bit of jojoba oil, um, some coconut oil, uh, some moisturizing cream, like a really good one, a thick one. Uh, might add some body oil, but I'm not sure. This is just a almond, sesame formula, Neutrogena body oil. I might add a little tiny bit of honey, just for a little bit of sweetness, and some peppermint oil, essential oil drops, and a drop or two of vitamin C serum, because why not? All right, so let's start with the, I'll put the, oops, I'll put the Vaseline in last. Okay, that, um, where's my coconut oil? I can use a spoon for that. I'm going to put a lot of coconut oil, like, I don't know, at least this much. And the jar is not very big. It's not even as big as that is. Like, the little cup on the inside is not that big. But yeah, a lot of oil. Oh, what is that? A hair gun on there. A cat hair, of course. Jeez. Anyways, um, there's cat hair floating around. I just was shaking one of the cat's blankets, so that's probably why. I'm not selling this stuff. This is just for me, so I don't care. Um, no, Mischief, please don't do that. Oh, uh, now what? Oh, yeah. So I got coconut oil and jojoba oil. I'm going to put a drop of vitamin C serum. I love this stuff. I call this glow serum because it makes my skin so nice and glowy. I'm not going to put too much of that in there. Just a couple of little drops. Like maybe one third of a dropper full. Okay, what else? So some peppermint essential oil. Couple of drops of that. Uh, moisturizer. Moisturizing cream. Usually I put the moisturizer on my lips and then I put the Vaseline or lip oil or whatever it is. But um, I also sometimes mix it into my lip, whatever you call this stuff. Like a lip balm, like a chapstick, you know, just like a lip ointment. Okay. Putting the moisturizer on my lips. Okay. Wipe that off. Actually, no, I want a little bit more moisturizer in there. Okay. Um, what else? <clears throat> I got that. 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 I need Vaseline. <clears throat> Excuse me. And maybe some... I just don't want to waste all those products, so this is the coconut oil. Um, I'm not sure about the honey. I do that in my lip masks, remember my lip scrubs that I, you know, to scrub my lips with when I make them with sugar, a sugar scrub. I don't know. I'm going to put a little bit, just a tiny bit, not too, too much. I hate how honey gets hard after a certain length of time and it's like you can't even get it. Oh no, that's way too much. Damn it. I mean, it's probably one quarter of a teaspoon, but I didn't want that much. Anyways, time to add the Vaseline. going to start with that much. Now I'm going to mix this up. I want to try to make like almost fill the container basically and then that lasts me I don't know maybe a few months depends I wear this I put it on several times a day I always have dry chapped lips so it's I can't really wear lipsticks and stuff very much because it just looks terrible with the skin cracking and peeling no it's my bottom lip that always does it and it's probably just because maybe I don't drink enough water um, I live in a dry area like Canada and the winters are dry and I and smoking yeah that definitely but hopefully one day I'll be quit smoking and I smell peppermint and coconut oil and yeah I mostly smell the peppermint okay I need more I want more a little bit more moisturizer 
use the other end of this. Okay. Cat's running around playing with her toys. I just don't like wasting stuff, so I just keep putting it all over my hands. You like that little bolly ball, huh? For Christmas, she got a pack with a bunch of toys in it, so she's playing with them now. And I want more coconut oil. <clears throat> and then more Vaseline still. My hands will be nice and moisturized after this, at least. kind of messy but all right I know it looks like it's overflowing the jar but it's not actually completely full on the inside so it's just hard to get it all in there because it's you know what you call that it's not a liquid and it's not a solid it's in between I guess what do you call I can't remember. I think there's a name for stuff that's like a soft solid, you know? Like it's not a hard solid, but it's not a liquid. Nor nor is it a gas. Um, I want some more it's not oily enough. Why isn't it working? Oops. There, yeah, there we go. Usually, after a week or a few, the oil starts to separate a bit. And yeah, and because it gets the oil melts, the coconut oil. Now, even though I have heat on in my house, my coconut oil is still like a butter. But as soon as it touches my skin, it melts. So, and then sometimes this little jar just the oils melt in here. Well, the jojoba oil is a liquid, so this is really good for your lips they say even like doctors and dermatologists they recommend just putting Vaseline just Vaseline alone so adding all these oils and stuff to it yeah even better and I enjoy doing these kinds of little DIY little things making my own skincare products and stuff like that that's a lot of Vaseline to put on my hands My hands got too oiled up. I gotta go on my arms now. Anyways, I'm trying to get this all into the jar. Push down. It's about three quarters full, maybe. It's hard to tell. So that's all. I'm not gonna add any more products to it. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And put it on my lips. Mm, that feels so good and smells nice. Peppermint. Mm. And I can taste the sweetness from the honey. Perfect. That's what I wanted. I have sweet tasting lips. Very hydrated, moisturized. Yeah, that CeraVe moisturizing cream is really good. It was twenty some dollars for that little jar, but that's not bad. It's for a really good cream, you know. And um, you can use that all over your body, your face, your hands. Yeah, it's good for your face too in the winter. Dermatologists recommend it. I use the CeraVe PM, AM and PM moisturizers, but that's lo those are lotions. This is the cream, so it's the thicker formula, and they do recommend using it in the winter, especially if you're in a drier climate, <clears throat> like here. Canadian winters are definitely uh, dry. What is that? Oh, it's from the honey. Like, you know how the honey gets sugary, like crystally almost? Almost crunchy at certain parts? I guess it's just because around the lid, you know, when air hits it. There was a piece of honey. Hard honey. That's weird. Anyways. There's my lip balm. My homemade lip balm. <laughs> I don't want to waste anything. Yep, let's apply our lip balm with a fucking spoon. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know where to put this though. 
my legs. Anyways, yeah, that's my homemade lip balm, and I'm sorry you couldn't actually see me making it because I didn't have my tripod set up because I'm using my tablet to record if I, my camera doesn't have any storage on it. All right. And yeah, you just take an old jar from some kind of beauty product or whatever it might be, just wash it, and yeah, use it to make homemade sugar scrubs and lip balms and whatever. I'm going to be making homemade sugar wax too, to wax my legs and everything. But I'm waiting because, oh, I don't have lemons. I do. I have one lemon, but I'm not sure if that's enough. Because you need lemons, water, and sugar. That's it. And it's good for, it exfoliates your legs and it just, so many benefits and it's just really good for your skin. So anyways, yeah, I used Vaseline, moisturizing lotion, a drop of honey, coconut oil, jojoba oil, um, vitamin C serum, and a little bit of peppermint oil. Good stuff. Try it. Your lips will thank you. That's it, sexy babes. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.